increasing intellectual friction while decreasing social friction. Commercial organizations survive by maintaining competitive advantage, which ultimately means incubating innovation. Now, if you watch closely, you'll notice that innovation is almost always a collaborative process and almost never a light bulb moment of lone genius. As the historian Robert Conquest once said, what is easy to understand may not have been easy to think of. Well, innovation is never easy to think of. It requires creative abrasion and constructive dissent. Processes that rely on high intellectual friction and low social friction. Most leaders don't comprehend that managing these two categories of friction to create an ecosystem of brave collaboration is at the very heart of leadership as an applied discipline. It is perhaps the supreme test of a leader and a direct reflection of personal character. Without skill, integrity, and respect for people, it doesn't happen. Nor can perks such as foosball tables, free lunch, an open office environment, and the aesthetic of a hip organization bring it to life. Here's the key concept. The leader's task is to simultaneously increase intellectual friction and decrease social friction.